Praise God. I'm just reading a little bit of scripture. Not much. Um, I'm in Colossians. And I just... I mean, the words... The Bible... Um, it says... I believe in Timothy somewhere. That it is God... All the words are God-breathed. And... Uh, like, meaning all these words, every word in this Bible, no matter who wrote it, they're all from God. And uh, that's just just crazy to think about when you read Scripture. Is it, It's actually God speaking to you as you read it. And um, I want to read to you Colossians 1, uh, chapter 1, verse 21. And this is out of the ESV. And you, who once were alienated and hostile in mind, doing evil deeds, he has now reconciled in his body of flesh by his death, in order to present you holy and blameless and above reproach before him. If indeed you continue in the faith, stable and steadfast, not shifting from the hope of the gospel that you have heard, which has been proclaimed in all creation under heaven, and of which I, Paul, became a minister. <laughs> I, mean, I read that and I think to myself how none of us deserve the glory of God. None of us deserve his love, his his just grace, none of that. I mean, the things that we do on this earth, either in our childhood or now, or the sins and and the sins of our fathers and their fathers and their fathers. I mean, it's just humans are really kind of sickening, if you ask me. And to see that, even though we did not we did not deserve his glory he still gave up his son to the torture and the death on the cross so that you can present present you holy and blameless so as long as we follow Christ and do what it says in this book I get to consider myself holy and blameless. I, I get to erase my past and, and think about no more about the stuff that I did that was unworthy to God. And that's just amazing if you ask me. I mean, there's nothing better. You know, it says in the Bible to love your enemies. And we as humans, first off, our minds, the sweet thing about God is his, his ways and His thoughts are above our ways and our thoughts. And we will never comprehend anything that is of God because our minds are just so... I mean, this is God we're talking about. And, you know, He says to love your enemies. And, and that's exactly what He did. I mean, we were sinners and He loved us so much that He decided to give us a second chance. And... We just got to be thankful for that, and we got to we got to continue to you know pray daily and and always try to do whatever we can to build our relationship with God. And one thing that I'm going to work on for sure when I get done with this trip is reading this book. And I, I read it here and there when I get chances and when I get motivated or feel convicted. But I'm lacking that right now. And on this trip, I've, I've, I've done a lot of praying and I have a lot of people praying for me. And, and I, I gave up everything and I just, I left and to seek God. And there's no doubt he's showing himself to me in ways that I've never imagined. And I know that when I read this book, the more and more I build my knowledge up, the more and more I'll understand and be able to see God even more. And I just, I just, 
I read the scripture and I just think, man, it's just it's just insane. So one thing that I can encourage people to do is, you know, when you pray, God God knows what you need and and what you're gonna ask before you ask it. So I what I do is I I try to pray more just thanking God for everything that he has done in my life and everything he's going to continue to do. I know he's going to answer prayers. I know I got so many people following me that are praying for me and and I I just I try to tell people that this is just all for uh the glory of God and I don't want to get mixed up in a um in in getting too too known by people or anything like that like fame and whatever that's just that's not what this is about and you know I know it's it's tough it's tough as the the more and more people start to follow me and the and the more I realize that I'm impact impacting more people it's it's harder to you know stay away from that side of it but it's just I just that's that's the one thing is just praying and and building your relationship with God and um that's just what it's all about. I mean, this isn't about, you know, whatever. It's just you, it's just so sweet to be able to talk to God and know that he's listening. So that's what I'm doing. I'm constantly on my bike. I'm constantly just in conversation with him, with God, talking to him and and just thanking him daily. And not really asking too much from him because, you know, I don't want to seem like I'm just this person who just prays and, and asks and asks and asks. Because the thing is, the less I ask for things, the more he's been giving me, you know. And like, for example, I was thinking earlier in the trip, I thought about wanting to get a new bike. I actually, before I got to Florida, I said to myself, you know what? I'm going to try to work in Florida and, and get a new bicycle. So I didn't ask. I didn't pray God say, well, I, I, I might have prayed saying, God, listen, give me some work and I'll get a new bicycle. And um, But I didn't ask him to give me a bicycle. I didn't say, God, just give me a bicycle. Just please, just give me a bicycle out of the blue. And um, and you think back and I look at all these things that are happening and it's it's just everything on this trip is so perfectly timed out. And that's because... I'm working with God's schedule and not mine. And sure enough, I get to Syracuse and I have a family bless me with a brand new bicycle. And I'm telling you what, it couldn't have come at a better time. And I know for a fact that my bicycle would have not lasted more than a couple days after I got that new bicycle. I, I just got into some major hills, the, the Ozarks, and... Uh, there's just no doubt in my mind that God gave me that bicycle so that I could continue my trip. And not only that, but the love. I mean, that's just, it's built my faith up so strong to know that God, God's sitting up there saying, Mike, listen, I know you're going to pray and ask for this, but I know what I'm doing here, you know. I'm using you as a vessel to show how great I am. It's it's not for you, you know. He, he's looking at me like, Mike, this isn't about you. This is about me. I want to show people my glory. And so you can pray and yeah, yeah, ask for things, but I'm going to give them to you when you need them and I'm going to I'm going to time everything out my way and um it's just so great. So that's kind of what I I've, I've been thinking about lately and um it's just good stuff. It's good stuff. So, uh, tomorrow I'm going to jump back on the road. They're going to try to give me a uh, a ride somewhere closer to Joplin. And maybe get me some closer to that, out of these hills. I'm 130 miles, I think, from Joplin. And, uh, and God has been doing some great things. So, I love you guys. I thank you for your prayers. And, um feels good. It feels good. So God bless you and I will talk to you soon.